gone the way that she maybe would have liked her first year in Tempe. Yeah, it's it's an odd kind of setup that we've seen with McGee this season. You'll see their warm-ups are done. River Mailer now stepping into the batter's box. There you see the four walks, so. And she'll get one there. Stanford puts their leadoff batter on. Parts of the year, she has settled into that leadoff role, and she lives into it. When you can have somebody this season, that's when you can allow the rest of your offense to really churn. So Stanford follows it up. Mailer up with Taylor Gindelsberger, who there was a strike from McGee. Now. And Kanashiro able to get it fair, and Kayla Lissy is under it. ASU picks up their second straight out run of the season. And you look at the rest of the one through five hitters, they're all coming at their 46. Here's the 0-2 on its way to Clements. And they'll get the strikeout. Kylie McGee picks up the strikeout to end the inning. They're going to see our senior heavy team and the experience in a moment like this up against a And gets one fair, bounces off the glove of Vodder. So Jasmine Hill safe at first despite the ups and downs. Yeah, and she's been a spark. She's been a spark out of this two spot. We Kayla McCarthy at that point and bumped Acuna down to two and it worked out. Acuna chops one past second base, and that's another runner on for ASU. Beautiful. You just, you just saw that the first two, the first two balls that were hit. Full defensive plays in the outfield. This defense up the middle can turn more double plays than any. Impressive for them, especially against a pitcher like Elena Vodder. And there, Jasmine Rollins gets one into the outfield. Caught, so Jasmine Hill able to tag up and get to third. Yanni Acuna stays. Easy one. The sun here at Farrington right around this time. We're getting towards dusk. Runner goes and Yanni Acuna not able to get there in time. It's a rundown, able to make it back safely to first. Can't handle it there. So Acuna will get second and Jasmine Hill steals home. Acuna going for third is safe. Can make a play. And Van Hook gets the walk to get on base. So Elena Vaughn. Harper batting 245 on the season. The rest of this ASU team. Harper goes for the bunt. Jasmine, Yanni Acuna, excuse me, comes home. This is base running that I've seen from ASU this season. You mentioned Yanni Acuna really put. Alex Milius over to shortstop. Sanford looking to turn two. Won't be able to do it. This man couldn't come. We're rocketed off the bat, just barely in front of it, but that's what you can do early on. If you can blow it open here, it'd be big. Runner goes again, and. Oh, excuse me, the strikeout comes from Elena. Early on. You're early on in this one, so a lot more has to be able to tell. He gave up a leadoff walk and then didn't allow another base runner as that pitch skied into center for the first out. Contact, your defense is doing pretty much just fine behind you. Could As the full pitch, full count pitch is low for the second walk of the evening. Yeah, after fastball heavy in the count, you've you know, seen Emily Schultz here. Lefty heavy lineup all, all the way through. For that one outside as well. Now will be first and second for the Cardinal. A couple walks this inning here for McGee. The bottom half of this order is really the piece that needs to come through for Stanford. Top heavy. Now runners, first and second is chopped on. Two seconds, looking to turn the double play. They cannot, but they do get a big out at second. Out and keep this at a goose egg for Stanford. From McGee. That one roped into left, and nice catch there by the Sun Devils. That'll retire the inning. Will be bottom of the second. Yeah, another top 10 matchup. This is the gauntlet that is the Pac-12 right now. Keep this consistent. That's been the question all year round. Once they get to that bottom third of the two to, to come up in those big spots. That one rolled over at two second and could be considered another error there for the Cardinals. That one is dripped out there at second. Now it's a spot of how can you take that damage? How can you work for a base hit? Bunting again is the Sun Devil as going to third and called out. Vodder's first pitch here in this at bat to Jasmine Hill top of the first, or bottom of the first, excuse me, is that one heading out towards shortstop, brought in. Sun Devils get a couple runners, or runner early, just unable.
how can they string that continually together? That's the biggest thing. The defense is showing out. McGee is 2-1. From McGee is hit back up the middle. First hit of the game goes to River Mailer. So far. I think it's fine ways to win early in counts. I, I think it's been a long... 2-0 to Gindelsberger is hitting to left. That one, say, is going to get down. Thrown to third is a little offline. Get somewhat in front of her. Now here's the chance. Big moments got to come through. This is the one. Is line into left. Caught. Runner coming home and safe at home. And thrown away another runner coming home and she is going to be safe. Small things like that just derail a lot of momentum they could be having. Allie Clement so far so being able to keep this inning going and tire out McGee's gonna be a big piece. McGee there strikes out Clements for the second out of the inning. Yeah. In this one you're still tied keep it where it's at and get out of this inning allow your bats to come. Emily Young next up for the Cardinal that one roped into center as nice catch there by the team randomly it may not be truly one person's fault or one player's fault back in the lead as the three two pitch inside just as much another another way they can get back in this lead long at bats yeah that's when isn't able to find the zone correctly second baseman jasmine Rob the time that they've been able to come through that ball rolled over to second nice play there to record the out for the Really interesting to see what Van Hook's been able to do with lower pitches. Uh, she gets the barrel for the Sun Devils as striking out looking is Jordan Van Hook. Beautifully placed fastball. I mean, that's a tough one to look at. Count. Couple outs here. Bottom of the third. Runner on second for the Sun Devils. Water. As she strikes out, Harper swinging. One left on for the Sun Devils. Harper strikes out. 2 2 ball game heading by. Those, those little defensive uh, inefficiencies you could say it's not something uncommon pitch and not able to catch the outside Chung picks up the walk to lead off the inning so here's Emily Schultz back up to bat after also walking in her first time Schultz sends one over to Lysian just not able to corral it Jones coming around she's gonna send her home and Stanford Scores their play and Stanford back to the lead for the first time tonight. So ASU picks up its second error there, and you saw the bump popped up by Sydney Steele. So ASU start in the lineup. Getting the start today. Row by Kinch today. Something to be mindful of. Chan looks to put the bunt down, and Kinch gets it over to Van Hook at first. In the third inning. Yeah, really on our horse on that play. The Closers on this team. Mailer chops one to Jordan Van Hook at first. The out made to win the inning. So one comes across for the circle. That hit you, you're near. Jaden, interesting to see if Stanford will go for pitching change. And Botter still looks sharp getting the strikeout. Kind of hit quickly. The defense couldn't quite back her up in that first frame, but she settled down. Able to get one, but it's right to the shortstop for the out. So that's out number two for an incredible job outside of that first glimpse in that first frame. Just continue to do that long. So here's Kayla Lissy looking to extend the inning and puts one right up the middle for a single. She so comes out and a and it is amazing what she's been able to accomplish in just her freshman year, a .29 ERA. She leads test. She's been able to answer and. We know the one right here with the runner on. It's always exciting. When and Kennedy comes in. First batter she faces, strikes her out to end the inning. Able to switch it up, find something different that Stanford hasn't seen so far early in this weekend. Haven't seen too many complete outings from Kylie McGee this year. Gindelsberger gets one to Rollin and quick and easy out over to Jordan Van Hook at first. So ASU puts one away. Ground to this infield that we know can make some really nice plays or you're putting it out. <laughs> yeah, no, that one's fine. Kaneshiro makes contact again and here comes McKenna Harper up to grab it. That's two outs for the Sun Devils. We contact, we contact, and more we can really make her 
valuable pitcher for the staff, but there you see just maybe a little bit of that fatigue coming in there. Four pitch walk issue to Lim there. Ball in a row. Yeah, again, I, I doubt we see McGee going. Now, it's not necessarily in one here, but has the potential to do so. Kayla Lissy going back, not able to do it. Lim speeding around a third. Got a run down, and Lim coming home to score, and no one was paying attention. Yeah, it's just a tough situation right there for the Sun Devils. Just maybe their other mental mistakes. And there you see Kylie Chung gets one high up in the air. Lissy underneath it. But like I said, ASU, they get themselves in these two-out situations where they let top of their order. It'll be Jasmine Hill leading off, followed by Yanni Acuna. She's one of the, your typical power hitters there. And there, Kennedy picks up the strikeout against Hill. It's tough. I mean, how do you go up against that? It's... Maybe a couple other pitchers in the Pac-12 that can throw that fast, but it's not something that they're used to at all. Yanni Acuna able to make some contact in fair territory, but pops it up. Remember the ballpark that is here in Farrington Stadium? Get a little more opportunities to lead about the yard. Yeah, it's going to take you have to swing at everything because it's coming right down the gut. And their third strikeout of the inning, excuse me, second strikeout of, ahead of themselves, but Mac Osborne, her numbers, once again, kind of up and down like many of these pitchers have. These hitters a little bit more off balance. You see McGee's. You know, consistent fastball, you see a change up that's going to ride in a couple of runs. So she did the job, tough one to work through, but keeping in this ball game. That's Schultz putting it on the ground to roll in a nice scoop. Osborne delivers to Nato, who pops it up. Lissy comes across to make the catch. Chan rips one into right field. For a single, Schultz once again held at Mailer one for two on the day. Runner goes. Sarah Kinch makes a smart decision not to throw to try to get the out, making sure that Schultz does not come across to score more so than preventing the steal. But of course, there, Mac Osborne walks River Mailer to load up the bases. So, any shot of anything going wrong for ASU? Gindelsberger puts it on the ground. Lissy picks it up and gets the out at first. Excuse me, that was Price that came in. and Good job settling your feet, getting a strong throw onto home, and now you're out of way from getting Jam home. is Mac Osborne. And she picks up the strikeout against Kaneshiro to get out of four batters faced and three strikeouts. Yeah, she, she's been so consistent in the zone tonight. And Jordan Van Hook draws the walk against Kennedy. That's, I mean, you don't. You can be in that box. The way you set to be in that box and find a good pitch. There's strikeout number one in the inning. That one comes against McKenna Harper for a night. Out very quickly. You find contact, it's going to go far away. It's just, you have to find. Of course, it ends the same way as. The last one did a strikeout swinging for Kennedy there. For any hitters to go up against her, we see it here. A right back and attack Kinch on this pitch here, and that's just what she does. Kennedy picks up her sixth strikeout of the night since ASU back. It's tough to work with. You're, you're ahead by two, and it feels like maybe a five run cushion. Uh, Kennedy today. There's Caitlin Lim putting down the butt. Savannah Price with a nice scoop and throw. For the out. Oh, beautiful. Seeing the incredible timing of a third baseman set that one up in Arizona State. Might want to power on some more. You've seen a little bit more of this pitching staff today. High ball in the foul territory. Looks like Kayla Lissy. No, I mean, this inning. The, the top of the frame. Yeah, of course, this inning. Quickly. Yes, yes, yes. Top of the inning very <laughs> quickly. but And puts one on the ground. Gets past Savannah Price. And there's a single. Piece by piece, two against Osborne already. And Schultz to Lissy, and the quick recovery by Kayla Lissy. And McCarthy strikes out against Kennedy, so Stanford two outs. So here's the one, two. And the strikeout from Kennedy comes at seven. On the night, through two. Ball rise balls, bent the mix all year long, and it's a question of who can match up to it. Really seems like. On its way. Got her looking is K. 
Kennedy able to fight back. So the Stanford Cardinal take down the Sun Devils here at Farrington, 4-2. Not able to pick up the win against the number nine ranked Stanford Cardinal. There you see ASU, they got the early 2-0 lead.